Hello. It's a new year. We're all together. And Accu weight loss is now fully implemented. The holidays are behind us. What I'd like to talk about today is the toxic elements that bring us down that are around us. Those of you who have been doing the program realize how unique we are. The program is healthy. The program is fast. And where else without drugs, without hunger, can you lose only fat 15 pounds minimum every month? The rest of the world knows very little about us. And so when they hear about the program, the skepticism is into the stratosphere. You, if you're like 95 plus percent of people doing the program, were skeptical. Most of you came through referrals, and so you knew good stuff, and that's what allowed you to take the risk. The rest of the world knows very little about us, and so many people in your lives, they could be immediate family or friends or people at work, are more than skeptical. That's what I want to deal with, because that skepticism can be toxic depending upon how you deal with it. As you know, Dr. Chu was my teacher and mentor. He had a saying, all behavior is determined. To interpret that simplistically, it means everything is cause and effect. There is no such thing as random behavior. You have a friend, you have a relative, you have a co-worker, they learn about the program because you're doing it, and their comment is negative about the results or the impact upon you. Some people are truly concerned. Most people are responding to their knowledge of the program and you doing it out of how the program and you're doing it is affecting them. All relationships are interactive. If I have a relationship with you, you expect that I will behave and act in a particular way, and I expect that you will act and behave in a particular way. And that makes us both comfortable. Now, all of a sudden, you go on Accu Weight Loss. You're eating differently. You're doing the breathing. You're focusing. You're paying attention. Your body is changing. And that impacts on your relationship with me and my relationship with you. If I understand and accept, I'm excited about what happens with you, not only with the change in your body, the change in your energy, the change in your self-concept, and all of that is affecting our relationship. If it's positive, then it's great for both of us. If it's negative, and we respond negatively, then it's toxic. And if it's toxic, it's going to affect us negatively. And so here is the rule. 
we never argue with the critics. We listen to what they have to say. We thank them for their comments. We appreciate the fact that they cared enough to share their concerns with us and tell them that it makes them cause you to feel good by knowing that they cared enough to share their concerns. If we argue, we're lost. They already have an opinion. They are not open-minded or they would have asked us, please explain more fully what this is all about because I care about you and I want you to know what's going on. From now on, you come first. We come first. And as you've heard me say before, if I come from love of myself, I have an abundance to give. If I come from fear, then everything that I do will be colored by that fear. And rather than be free and grow, I will become more confined and limited. More about this in the future. Take care.